Hey guys, what's going on? David here with a review video for you today. And this time I'm reviewing the Audio-Technica M50X headphones. These are high quality studio monitor headphones. So when you're buying these, you're buying these because you do sound editing and you want to hear the best sound that, that you can. I did a lot of research when I was looking for different headphones and uh, trying to find out what a lot of people recommend and a lot of YouTubers um, even, but even DJs, um, sound mixers, a lot of people recommend the Audio-Technica M50X. Now these are the successors to the Audio-Technica M50s, which I believe are discontinued because I could not find those anywhere because I'm all about finding a deal and if they were going to be less expensive because these came out, I was going to try those because those, everybody said the same thing, those are such great quality headphones. So right off the bat, looking at the build quality, it's an extremely good build quality. You're holding it and even though a lot of it is plastic, it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It doesn't feel like it's going to break in your hand. It feels uh, very nice to hold. Um, the ear cushions are very cushiony. Um, there is a lot of padding there and even up on the headband there is a decent size of padding. Wearing them is actually, they're very comfortable to wear for the most part. They um, I have a hat on so it's a little bit different but um, they are pretty comfortable to wear. Um, there are times when I kind of forgot I had them on. At the same time um, they do tend to get heavy. If you're looking for headphones to just wear and listen to on a regular basis and you don't want the earbuds then these may not be the headphones for you because you're going to kind of overpay and have a higher quality than what you really need unless you're an audiophile and you just want to hear the best quality music all the time then these are the headphones for you you're going to hear what the music is so like i reviewed a lot of the bass headphones or a couple of the bass headphones you know one thing that i mentioned is that they add bass to it they take the bass that's there they amplify it and then they add more um, that, that's why you get the big like boom beats like sound to it. These don't do that. These you hear what is in there. If you want to hear more bass then you adjust it for more bass. A couple cool features are that it does fold up like this so it's not quite as foldab uh, foldable as the beats. They also fold in slightly like this but still not as compact as either one of the beats that I reviewed. They So they just fold like that for portability. Uh, the cool thing is the cord actually has a locking mechanism. There's two lines. There's the white line on the cord and then the white line on the actual headphone. And when you plug that cord in, you plug it in so it's not aligned and then you twist it to align it and then it's locked in. It's not going to move. So that's a good feature to have because then um, you're not concerned about your cord you know, ripping out of your headphones. I guess on the downside though is if you trip over it or something, you might want it to come out so you don't go down with whatever it is that you're taking down with you. Uh, it did come with two cords. It came with the regular straight cord. It also came with a coiled cord for um, with a quarter inch adapter at the end, um, being able to do uh, DJ and mixing and plugging into an actual soundboard, you're gonna need that bigger plug. In addition to the cords, it also comes with a soft case. And when I say soft, I don't mean like the neoprene shaped case like the Beat Solo came with. I mean, it's literally like a soft case. Um, not canvas, but some sort of material. So there's no shape to it whatsoever. These just slide right into it, which for the price point, I am pretty disappointed with because I expected at least the same type of case that like the mixers come in where it's a hard case it's good for travel um but i would imagine that since these are more like studio monitors you probably aren't going to be taking them with you a lot of places they're going to stay at your board or in your studio or at your computer or whatever and you're going to have another pair of headphones that you're going to take around with you which i think is what the idea behind that was was not having a travel case form. You can always buy travel cases, they're out there, you find them all on Amazon, but um, for me that was kind of a downside for the price point not having that case. Overall the sound quality was amazing, it was really good sound quality, especially compared to um, like the Beats, it didn't have that heavy bass sound, which normally I like, but I like it when it's part of the song. But overall, good headphones, um, are they for me? I don't know. I think that they are excellent headphones. But honestly, I don't do a lot of audio editing. I don't do a lot of um, mixing and stuff like that. I'm not a DJ. 
So having this high price headphone, I don't really hear enough of the difference from as opposed to some of like the other headphones aside from Beats that I could get for cheaper than these. I'm just looking for something to where I could put in my computer so my wife can watch Netflix and I could be editing videos. Um, or I could be listening to music, stuff like that, and I don't want to wear earbuds. But overall, I think they are great headphones and I do highly recommend them. Out of all the ones that I've tried so far, these are definitely the ones that I like the best. All right guys, so that is my review of the Audio-Technica M50X headphones. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you have these or if you tried them. Let me know, I wanna to know too what you guys think. Um, and also, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It helps me out and it also helps you out because if you're interested in these videos, then every time I have a new one, you automatically get notified it's in your inbox. You click, you watch, you go, you're good. So go ahead and hit that red button and as always, guys, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.